When you're on your walk with Christ, people will talk regardless. If you're afraid to do God's work, if you're afraid to preach, if you're afraid to sing your heart out and worship the Lord at church because of what people say, if you're afraid to do all of these things because of what people will say, here's a Bible verse that I want you to take in. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 17 to 18, it says, But he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. For not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. People will talk regardless. You can even look at Jesus, for example. What do you know about Jesus? Yeah, he died on the cross for our sins. He sacrificed his life for us. He performed miracles. He saved people. Yet he still got hate for it. The scribes and the Pharisees, they claimed to be followers of God and they criticized him. They criticized Jesus for serving God's purpose. Even though Jesus was able to save people, cure diseases, show everyone what he can and as much as he can that he is the son of God, Jesus himself still couldn't prove everyone wrong. There was still that majority of people who just didn't believe. And then later on, they ended up voting to crucify him. But you know what the funny thing is? This was all part of God's plan. When I saw the example of the scribes and the Pharisees criticizing Jesus for preaching and serving God, I was able to relate to the situation. Not that I'm comparing myself to Jesus because I'm nowhere near on his level, but I've gotten comments saying, who am I to think I'm qualified to preach all these messages that I've been preaching? Who do I think I am? And my answer to all those comments is, I'm not qualified. I'm not at all. I'm a sinner. But this is what God called me to do. I didn't choose this specific path. God chose it for me. And even though my intentions are pure, even though my intentions are solely for God and for the people who are looking to build a relationship with Christ, I'm still going to get hate. Why? Because it's part of the game. It's part of our walk with God. We are going to be different. We are going to stand out. We are going to walk this narrow path. And at the end of the day, whether we walk this path or not, people will talk either way. What matters is what God has called you to do. Romans chapter 8 verse 31, if God is for us, who can be against us?